Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be one that has been highly requested. I've been getting so many comments from you guys asking me to do more hermit crab videos, and I've also been getting questions about handling hermit crabs, so I thought that I would film this video for you guys today. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a couple of ways that I hold my crabs so that I don't get pinched. Just a quick disclaimer before we get into the video, in no way, shape, or form am I encouraging anyone to go out and get hermit crabs as a pet. Sadly, all of the hermit crabs that you see in stores and online for adoption are captured from the wild, and I am 100% against that. But like I've said many times, I did get my hermit crabs almost a decade ago, and while I would never get them again, I am happy that I have them, and I do understand that people are going to continue to buy them, regardless of how they were captured. So because of that, and because of the fact that I've had mine for so long, I am going to continue to make hermit crab care videos for those who do have hermit crabs or maybe have had them for a very long time so that your hermit crabs can live a very long and happy life. Also, while I am going to show you guys how to safely handle hermit crabs today, it is in my opinion that hermit crabs should never be held unless it is absolutely necessary. Hermit crabs aren't the typical pet that you can get out and play with often and if that's the kind of pet you're looking for, hermit crabs may not be for you. Hermit crabs stress very, very easily, so I do recommend that you not hold them unless it is absolutely necessary. I wouldn't take them out daily and let them walk around in your hand. I wouldn't do anything like that because they just stress so easily. But regardless, I am going to show you how to safely hold them today without getting pinched. So with all that said, let's get into the video. So if you've ever seen or held a hermit crab or you've seen crabs at the beach, then you know that they pinch. They usually have one bigger claw and one smaller claw, and depending on the size of the crab, that kind of determines how hard that pinch is going to be. The bigger crabs obviously can pinch a lot stronger than the smaller ones, but nonetheless, they all hurt. <laughs> So while I have been pinched by hermit crabs in the past, I've actually never been pinched by my hermit crabs, and that's because I know how to hold them where they can't reach my fingers, and that's really important when you're thinking about picking them up, because you really don't want to get pinched by them. So here are my two largest crabs that I have. This is Princess and Spongebob, and I've had them about eight years, and these are the two hermit crabs I'm going to be using to show you how to handle today. Now as you can see right away, which I want to point out, is that they're very, very lively and alert. They are always out, they're always walking around, and they're really not scared of my touch or being around me. A lot of hermit crabs are going to be really timid whenever you first go to touch them or pick them up. More than likely they're going to go back into their shell and then they're not going to want to come out for you. So this is Princess. She is the largest crab that I have currently and I've had her again about eight years. Now one thing I want to point out about Princess here is that as you can see she is completely out of her shell. She's not scared of me. She's not scared of my touch. In fact, whenever I put my finger there, she actually reaches out and tries to kind of grab me, probably to pinch me, um, as that is something that they like to do. So if you have a crab that's a lot more afraid of you, then they may not come out of their shell, and that would make holding them actually really easy because they would actually be completely drawn in their shell, and then you could just put the shell on your hand and you would have no issues. So here I have SpongeBob, and as you can see, he is a lot smaller than Princess, and he's obviously very used to me too. So as you can see, I'm holding Princess by the back of her shell just with a few fingers but safely away from the front. As you can see she's coming out comfortably and she's grabbing me with this claw right here and if I were to not move my fingers she could actually pinch me with this big one right here and that would hurt a lot. So that's definitely something to remember whenever holding your hermit crabs is make sure that you're readjusting and that can kind of prevent them from pinching you. You can basically just touch them very gently and they will kind of tuck back into their shell. Now this isn't to scare them or anything it's just merely to say hey I'm here please don't come out and pinch me. And it kind of just lets them know that you are there and it keeps them from coming out overextending and finding your fingers from behind and pinching you. So another way that you can hold your hermit crabs is on the palm of your hand. Now I do not recommend this. I've seen it online and people recommending that you hold your hermit crabs like on your hand directly. However, I've never done this and I truly don't recommend this because hermit crabs do pinch very, very hard and by putting them on your hand even flat, you run the risk of them pinching you and it does not feel good and then that could cause you to flinch or something and possibly drop the crab, which would be a very, very bad thing to happen. Now obviously if you have a crab that's really, really timid and not used to you, then you can probably just put it in the palm of your hand and you have no issues whatsoever but the minute that crab gets comfortable and decides to come out just be very careful that it doesn't pinch you especially if it's a weary or scared crab that's a very likely possibility that they could pinch you and you obviously don't want that to happen. Another thing that can be really helpful when holding your hermit crabs if you see that they're overextending and they're trying to come out to pinch you just showing your finger to them can kind of warn them like hey I'm right here please don't come out and please don't pinch me and it will cause them to kind of retract back into their shell 
and help you to not get pinched. So another really easy, safe way to hold your crabs is in a dish. I really love this extra large clear measuring cup because it makes it to where I can hold my crabs safely at a distance where I'm not overly stressing them out, but I can also observe them. So I am a big fan of this method. In fact, every single time that I clean their tank, I always fill this up with a tiny little bit of water so they can get a good soak and I just put them right in there. It is important to take your hermit crabs out a couple times a year, obviously whenever you're cleaning their tank or giving them a soak, and just kind of look at them and do maybe like a little health check. I do look at them and make sure that they aren't missing any claws, make sure that their feelers are intact. Obviously, if they were missing anything, then you would know they've probably been fighting and you may want to consider separating them or getting them a bigger enclosure. But as you can see, my crabs are perfectly healthy. They're not missing their feelers. They have their eyes, their claws. Everything is looking really good on them. Okay, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Ways to safely hold your hermit crab is by the back of the shell. Remember, if they come out and they're overextending, trying to pinch you from underneath, you can gently touch their claws and it will make them go back into their thing without pinching you. Obviously, do not hold your hermit crabs too much because you don't want to stress them out, so as little as possible is recommended. Or if you're scared of getting pinched, you just want to do a health check or observe them, watch them walk around, you can always put them in a large dish with a little bit of water, and not only are they getting a good soak, but it makes it to where there's a safe barrier between you and your crabs, and you don't have to worry about getting pinched. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit more of my hermit crabs than you normally get to. I hope this video was helpful, and I really hope that you guys don't get pinched by your little crabs. But do remember guys, hermit crabs should only be handled when it's absolutely necessary so that you don't cause them any undue stress. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Be kind. Bye.